Hello and welcome to The Edge. I'm Jenna Finn. And I'm Eric O'Hanlon and we have quite a show for you today. We have two interviews lined up and an update with the art department here at Edgemont High School. Jenna and I will both be reporting as well. We have two segments prepared. One is about the alternative school and then the other one is about alligators. And right now we'll bring you to Dylan Pine with his seventh grade interview. Dylan? Hello, I'm Dylan Pine and I'm reporting for this expose on the seventh grade and how they are so far. Here I have with me Justin Arnold and Alexandra. Isabel Kuhn. Leo Generali. Julia. Wes. Jalani Claire. And Justin Arnold. Oh, Gabby. And Catherine. Last names? Bryce and Jonah. And in the food. What were your thoughts about the junior high before your first day? Um. <laughs> I was kind of scared and stuff. I like, wasn't that scared. Well, I was scared because, like, the intimidating seniors. Now, that's kind of creepy. <laughs> I wasn't that scared because, you know, it's just school. You're you. Yeah. Homework. I, I didn't really think about it too much. I, 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 I didn't really think about it too much. I don't like school. <laughs> I thought it would be, like, bigger yeah. and more work. Yeah, I thought it would be bigger. And I didn't really know the campus. I thought it was going to be like a little bit scary with all the different buildings and a ton of homework. Um, I thought that I would, I thought that it wouldn't be, there would be too much tests and I wouldn't be able to see my homework. Did any expectations at first day actually happen? I thought I'd get lost and I did. I thought that like the teachers were going to be different and that we were going to get like a lot of work and stuff. And yeah. I can't find my way to science, and I still can't find my way to science. What are your main concerns about the school year? Would the food be tasty? Yeah, pretty, pretty much the same thing. Just... Um, that I wouldn't do so well grade-wise. Um, that I would fail every class, but I'm not. How are you doing with classes? I'm doing pretty well. Pretty well. I'm doing awesome. <laughs> Were you at all intimidated by the fact that you were the youngest? Yes. Well, it's kind of different from last year because we were the oldest at Greenville last year. Go Greenville. No. Actually, no, not, not really. Yeah. I, I, I'm, How do you feel about the junior and senior high being in the same school? Um, it's kind of weird seeing like all the older kids when all my friends from other schools, they just have like seventh through ninth grades or things like something like that. It's okay. I don't know. It was it was junior high and senior money. <laughs> Did you meet a lot of new friends and stuff? Personally, I don't care like, at all. How long did it take for you to finally get adjusted to the schedule and the campus layout? Um, it took me around two weeks. You still can't find your way to science class. Yeah, I know. Are you taking languages? Yep. Yeah, I'm taking Spanish. And it rocks. What do you take? Um, French. It's fun, like, cause I went to a Spanish-speaking country, and it's fun speaking Spanish there. Um, I liked it. It's interesting to learn about another language. Yeah, and like the culture and stuff. Was the workload what you expected to be? No, I thought it'd be like a little lighter, but you know, we get so much homework and stuff. I thought that, like, you know, the project level would be lower than expected. I thought it would be more, but I don't yeah, find it to be a lot. Some days it's like, like more than I thought it would be, but other days it's not as much. Is it difficult for you to balance your weekend with work time and free time? Yeah, it's hard with like all the other stuff I do. Yeah, because um, I really like to have free time and I just like to hang out with my friends. It really when you want to have like just hang out and then you have to do homework. Yeah, and your and, parents won't let you. Yeah, and like you have like four tests the next day and then you have but, four tests. Well, yeah, yeah. So. What is your favorite part of the high school so far? Making new friends from the other school. Different buildings and stuff. Um, I guess I like to switch classes, and um, that's just really fun. And I like to be with all my friends because you don't have just one friends. class. Food. Uh, yeah, the food. And Miss Walsh, she's cool. She's got a baseball bat, and she hit me. But that's off record. She didn't really hit me. I'm, I'm kidding. 
How has having sport practice every day impact your schedule? Um, well, it impacts my schedule because, like, I can't make it Wednesdays and that. And otherwise, it's like, you know, the time that we get to do our homework when we get home is kind of, like, really kind of Is there anything particular you don't like about the high school? Um, a lot of, like, homework and stuff, like how long it takes me and um, a few of the older kids aren't so nice. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Dylan. Yeah. Any advice that you'd like to give to the future seventh graders? I'm Dylan Pond, and that was our expose on the seventh grade and how they are so far. Take care and have a good night. Bye. Bye. Thank you. That was very informative. Indeed. Next, we have a story from Down Under, from the homeland of Australia. An interesting story about an incident involving an alligator. Where you see, there was a man walking through the forests with a chainsaw, uh, part of a deforestation project and uh, they didn't call it deforestation naturally because that sounds like a bad thing but uh, he began chopping down trees with the chainsaw when suddenly an alligator came out of a nearby lake and actually grabbed his chainsaw took it went back to the water chewed it up and then ended it uh, ended up uh, throwing it back to him afterwards now naturally the man was surprised the uh, the alligator was quite surprising in this incident uh, now Something that you might not know about alligators is they do not like loud noises. They've been known to actually chew up motorboats and uh, other loud crafts left by the water. So uh, if you ever stop by Australia, I would say watch out for the alligators because they will take your chainsaw. Isn't that right, Jenna? That's right.